I want to share my favorite story with you from American history that a lot of people don't know. So on June 7, 1776, Virginia sent a resolution to one of its delegates in Philadelphia, Richard Henry Lee, but the response to the resolution was tepid at best. The resolution from Virginia said that delegates should promote independence because the colonies, quote, are and of right ought to be free and independent states. However, the reason the Second Continental Congress was meeting in Philadelphia to begin with was actually to figure out how that they could resolve things with Britain and not necessarily break away. They wanted to end the bloodshed of the American Revolutionary War and find peace with Great Britain. So when Lee suggested a resolution of independence on June 7th, the Congress agreed to put it off until the next day, June 8th. So the next day rolls around, and on June 8th, debate about independence got underway. But there was a lot of confusion because delegates weren't sure if they had the permission to declare independence away from their home governments, and then there were some delegates who actually didn't even want to declare independence. As a result of this lack of clarity and agreement on the decision, the Second Continental Congress decided to postpone the decision until the first week of July, hence July 4th. So this way, individual colonies could decide on a course of action. In the meantime, they appointed a select committee made up of all the greats, John Adams, Thomas Jefferson, Benjamin Franklin, Roger Sherman of Connecticut, and Robert R. Livingston of New York. This committee was to compose a written statement formally declaring colonial independence, and later on, the committee would actually nominate Thomas Jefferson to write the Declaration of Independence. He was given about two weeks to get it done, and then it would come back before the Second Continental Congress where they would vote on the Declaration of Independence. And now we celebrate Independence Day on July 